Hi, welcome to my video on dual voltage Y motor connections. Now in this video, we are talking about a nine lead dual voltage Y motor with all our terminal identifications already done for us, uh, which I have another video on the terminal identifications, which you can check out if you want. In this case, we're gonna talk about a Y dual voltage nine lead motor, and we're gonna talk about terminating it in its high voltage connection. So the idea behind this uh, Y motor is I can connect it to a low voltage or a high voltage depending on how I connect those windings. Now, let's say hypothetically we're talking a 230, 460 volt motor, which is good for a nominal voltage of 240 or 480 volts. If I put these two windings, which are both rated for 240 in series, then I can apply uh, 480 volts across it. If I put them in parallel with each other, that's going to only allow me to put the lower voltage. So in this case, we're a high voltage connection. So we are talking about a series connection. So what I want to do is I want to take, uh, you know, this winding here, my T1, T4 winding and put it in series with my T7 and T10 winding. Now, in order to put that in series, it's as simple as putting a jumper right here from T4 to T7. Now current will flow in, in series, right? Same thing down here. We're going to put T5 and T8 in series. And over here, we're going to put T6 and T9 in series. Now what I have over here, these would just represent my nine conductors coming out of my junction box. And I would just make those connections over here so I can help visualize it. So T4 to T7, uh, T8 to T5, T6 to T9. And then of course, we definitely don't want to forget, we need to connect T1, T2, and T3 down to my line one, line two, and line three conductors. Now that would make this motor run in a high voltage situation because uh, our windings are connected in series. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out my other videos on Delta motors or on a Y low voltage connection. Have a great day.